This Easter, I better understand the Apostle Paul writing from prison when he say how deeply he wishes he could come be with his people. My sisters and brothers, my beloved siblings in Christ, I so wish we could be together this Easter, and I look forward to the day when we will be reunited. But this year we all enter into the first century Easter story. Disciples in isolation, huddling together in hiding, waiting. The appearance of the risen Lord was not to a large crowd or congregations, but to individuals, pairs, small groups. We will experience the resurrection of Jesus the Christ as a Mary Magdalene, Peter, John, and the rest of the disciples did it. The certainty there is a great energy and joy when we come together to sing out the Christ the Lord is risen today, or He lives, or the day of resurrection. But I encourage us all to sing in our homes and know that together we form a mighty choir. Truly, we are living in some dark and difficult days, but we are Easter people. Jesus Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Through our prayers and through our devotional reading of Scripture and through our meditations and reflections, we can make this one of the most memorable Easter ties ever. Jesus came to the world in deep need. Jesus came to the poor. Jesus came to the afflicted. Jesus came to the outcast. Jesus came to the marginalized. Jesus came to the fearful and despairing. And through his death and resurrection, he brought hope and healing. He brought redemption and joy. He conquered the death and provided it the encouragement and the strength that allow us to endure whatever pain and suffering come our way. Truly, Jesus brought new life to us all. My beautiful people, I miss being with you in body, but know that I am with you in spirit. I am praying for you. I am celebrating with you the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Today, we are separated and apart, but the day is coming when we will all be together again. Look forward to that day, but receive this time of physical distancing as a gift, a gift of time to reflect, to pray, and to care, and to rest. Let this be a gift of meeting the risen Christ as if for the very first time, a gift of glory and of joy.